My uh, best deer hunt centers around killing a 10 point. I, uh, just to set the stage, I was hunting on some private land and I was kind of an outsider to the group. So they gave me really a poor spot to hunt. So setting up my deer stand, I noticed that there was a, a scrape line where a buck was passing through, uh, sometimes probably nocturnal, because the spot that they gave me was a little patch of pine trees, which was just adjacent to a gated area where employees would come in every morning to this compressor station. So they, they would come in in the morning and then leave in the afternoon, and so naturally this area was, was heavy with human scent. So, you know, I didn't anticipate that much, or, or I noticed that the, the signs, the deer signs that I was seeing was probably nocturnal. So, anyway, this was the hand I was dealt with. So, I went about three weeks before the season, found the best tree out of this patch of pine trees to put my deer stand in. I, uh, I did notice that the scrape line was active, so Buck was using it. However, I felt pretty confident that he was using it that night, which would have been, you know, I wouldn't have been, ever been able to see. So I set my stand up probably about, I want to say 15 foot up in a pine tree where I could climb it without having to, I could climb the branches up the pine tree to get into the stand. So I could get in there fairly quiet. So that morning, it was opening day of bow season. It was in the middle of the week, and there was no other hunters hunting, and there was misting rain. So I could tell which way the wind was blowing, so I came in from the road, which was actually a much longer walk than coming in from the field, where if I came in the field, it would have been a five-minute walk to my stand. But I kind of had a feeling that if he was going to be in the field, I didn't want to spook him. So I walked in from the west, from the road, got into my stand extremely quiet, and this was before daylight. I was there a half hour before daylight. So I'm sitting there and I can hear the employees from this compressor station coming in and out of the gate. I could hear their conversations. I could see the lights of their vehicles. And, and I just sat there and sure enough, daylight came and I noticed a large body deer walking towards me. He was coming, naturally coming from behind me. He was quiet as a mouse. And meanwhile, vehicles and people are still talking at the compressor station. And he had that sneak uh, uh, type of uh, approach down pat. Because he knew he could slip through that little patch of woods, go lay down in the thicket in the field, and no one would ever see him because it was a cornfield. So I was sitting there waiting. I, I saw him, and I could see it was legal shooting time, but it was still dark because of the uh, the rainy conditions. He walked underneath me, and I could see he was a well-racked deer, and he was a big one. And uh, all I had time for was to pick up and shoot. I, I could see my sights. I shot, and I broke his back, and he fell straight down. Uh, he lifted his head up, and by that time, I shot another arrow and got him right in the heart on the second shot. And he just, it took him like 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and he laid down dead. So he was right underneath me. I didn't have to track him or anything. Meanwhile, all the rest of the employees had went into their shop, and they were already doing their daily work. And <laughs> I pulled my truck up. I was using a little Ranger then. I had a nice easy drag because I could drive right to my stand and I dragged him in and drug him up into the, the back of the bed and then I could realize how big he was, really was. Uh, I could barely get him into the back of the pickup. Uh, so he, he wound up being a really massive, for me, the biggest deer I've ever killed. And I could tell that he was an old buck. So he was probably doing this sneak tactic uh, for a long time. Uh, the only problem today, the day that I got him was he was about 15 minutes late from his normal 
trek. He he was late, late to go into bed, and that was all the edge that I needed. So that was my most memorable deer hunt. 